Hi guys, I'm in a camping weekend. Look here, look here. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Camping is cold. Now today I want to talk about anger management, how to control your anger. Now from time to time, we may get pissed off about something or somebody, right? Someone will make you angry or upset or something like that. And you want to control it because you're just not functioning well and angry is an unresourceful emotion. So how, what do I mean by that? Now, being angry has three things that is not beneficial for you. So number one, you're not in the inner peace. Being angry doesn't solve the problem that you want to solve. It just makes you angry and you waste your time and energy being angry. That's all. Now, second is that it will actually damaging, hurting your um, emotion, spiritual, mentally, and it manifesting in your body physically, especially your liver and your heart eventually. And number three, it could actually ruin your image. Now imagine you have this colleague that you work with for a year. She's always so nice, professional, polite. And one day you make the mistake and she yelled at you. She lost it. She lose her shit. Bah, 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 bah. And then you'd be like, whoa, she's a faker. She's not nice anymore. She's not nice. She's just an angry bitch. Now, her whole year of being nice person ruined. But you never know, she could just have a really bad day the day before, she broke up, or her family has some issue, or she's just on period, whatever. But because she couldn't control that emotion, that anger, and then now she's not nice anymore. So now second I wanna to talk to you is that being angry is an illusion. You may think, oh, but he pissed me off, she pissed me off, I hate that behavior, I hate people like that. Now, nobody can actually make you angry. You choose to be angry. Now imagine, if you're a multimillionaire, you're living in the dream, you have a dream house, you have a dream perfect, sexy, healthy body, no pain, you have a really romantic, happy relationship, you have family and kids and pets and you travel the world, you're doing whatever you love, your dream thing, right? Do you think you'll get angry a lot? Probably not. You're probably fairly busy enjoying life. Right? You're probably not going to be bothered for the small little tiny thing and get pissed off because you just, life is perfect. So usually when something or someone piss you off, it's something that triggers you. It's reflecting something in you that you don't like about you or hasn't been dealt with. Maybe an emotion that you've been suppressed when you were young and it let go. So if someone did something and then it triggered you. So what you do is when that happens, when the anger arises, what you do is you calm. You just do nothing at that moment. You go home before bed. You think about, okay, what is going on here? What is that this person or this stuff pissed me off so much? Why is that? Is that something that my emotion, emotions suppressed before that when I get out? You may be like, oh shit, my brother did this to me or I was bullied before or and then I'm angry about me doing do the didn't do this thing that I should be doing. I actually angry about myself, whatever. And what you do is you let that go and you forgive it. So you say, I let go of my anger. You breathe out four times. What that does is it release that angry emo anger emotion, physically, mentally, spiritually, and um, uh, emotionally, get it out. So. I let go of my anger. I forgive myself or my mom, whatever, who that person. Right? So you do it a few times and let it go, let it breathe out. And then you replace it with something good. So you can say, I am joy. I am joy. I am joy. I am joy. Or whatever you want to say to replace it because you just let out of some emotion, some bad emotion. So there's a space in your body. And now you want to replace it with, you know, I am calm, I am calm, I am calm, I am calm. So do it a few times to cleanse it out, wash it out. The bad old emotion need to be healed, need to be released, acknowledged. And then you put back some good positive emotion. And then now you go back and think, ah, what happened today? Mm, doesn't matter anymore you realize you are healed. So it's not that important anymore and you can sleep better. I hope that helps.